So the question here is fairly common. They're referring to lines that intersect the sides of a triangle. They want to know if you have a line and it intersects two sides of a triangle, then will it always, sometimes, or never divide the sides proportionately? So here, if we, if we draw a triangle out, right, we can look at a special case here. Let's see, we have triangle ABC, and we have a line cutting across triangle ABC. And let's say in this special scenario, line, this line right here is parallel to one of the sides. We'll call this line D, E. So it's parallel, let's say, to AC down here. And when that happens, what, what's, this is like a special case because here you will definitely divide your sides proportionately. This is sometimes referred to as the uh, triangle proportionality theorem or sometimes referred to as the side splitter theorem. And this theorem tells us that the sides being cut by this line are cut proportionately when what? Well, when that, that line is parallel to one of the other sides. So in this case, um, BD, right, this length right here, to DA, right, would be proportional to BE to EC. And that is going to happen when we have uh, the line parallel to one of the sides of the triangle. In other cases, when you tilt this line, you lose that proportionality. It's not always going to work, and you can just kind of think, sketch it out to make sense of it. Right? So let's say we have this triangle again. Um, so we'll call it triangle ABC again. But now we're cutting it differently. right? Let's, let's cut it with this line. And you can almost see right away that this cannot be proportional. right? So BD to DA they're pretty close in value to each other. So whatever BD over DA is here, it's going to be pretty close to 1, right? They're about the same. So maybe this is about 5 over 5 or whatever, and that's pretty close to 1. But BE, right, is this large value, right, larger than BD or DA, and EC is this small value here. So this BE over EC should be greater than 1. Right? Because here, the ratio of one side is about double of the other. And there, I'm actually not sure how to prove this, but it seems so intuitive, especially if you go with a, an extreme case right here. What if you, know, what if you cut it so close and, or in such a tilt that you're basically crossing the vertex here? Let me just tilt that even more. You know, here is, I think, a more extreme case. In this case, you know, the, this, there's a microscopic amount down here. This is this tiny side on, over here to this really long side right here. It's much longer. So here, A, B, C. Well, B, well, I guess this is, this is still we'll call D, E. But look at D, E now. I mean, D, E, it's such a dramatic cut, right? E is basically on C. So BE, this long side right here, is way greater than EC. Now BD is greater than DA, but at nearly as many times larger than BE over EC. And you can see this, right, if I set this up here, you can see the measurements are proportional because here DE is parallel. Yeah, but as I tilt this, you can see, right, what happens. Here we have 4.37 over 0.63. Over here we have 1.24 over 3.76. So so even right even though the side lengths themselves as we compare them are changing, look what just happened as well, right? This side BA is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, right? While BE is larger than EC. So here if we did BE over EC, we get a number above um, 1. And here if we do the same as that ratio, we get a, a number way below 1 because we're doing the ratio of a smaller number to a larger number. Over here, we're doing a larger number to a smaller number. So maybe going back to this argument here, you know, BD and DA are close to each other. Uh, but BE, as it gets longer, and as we stretch this and tilt it more and more, EC gets smaller and smaller, right? Just arguing in different ways that these ratios cannot be equivalent.
So it's it's really my my argument here. I guess is intuitive, um, and not really a proof. But this is only going to happen in the case of the spot sl side splitter theorem when you have uh, a line that's parallel to another side. Thanks.